How's it going, people? I just had a large Thanksgiving dinner with the family. First one in my my palace. And thought I'd have a little DNC for dessert. And section 113 and 114 are make up about a page, so I'll do both of them. And this is the reason for the video. <laughs> Not because I find that particularly interesting, but it gives me an excuse to drink. Uh, this will help the digestion. Oh. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's see what wonders are in store for us. Section 113. Answers to certain questions on Scripture given by Joseph Smith the Prophet, March 1838. Gee, wasn't there last... Uh, yeah, last one was uh, July 23rd, 1837. So I guess he was busy that year. Okay, uh, one, who is the stem of Jesse spoken of in the first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth verses of the 11th chapter of Isaiah? Two, verily, thus saith the Lord, it is Christ. Yeah, he invented tables too, and chairs. According to Mel Gibson, at least. That Jesus, man. If he would have stuck around longer, he probably would have split the atom. Or something else amazing. Alright. Three. What is the rod spoken of in the first verse of the 11th chapter of Isaiah? That should come of the stem of Jesse. Everyone wants to know these questions, you know, the answers to that. I mean, sometimes I lose sleep over this shit. Four. Behold, thus saith the Lord, it is a servant in the hands of Christ, who is partly a descendant of Jesse, as well as of Ephraim, whom there is laid much power. I wonder who that is. Five. What is the root of Jesse spoken of in the 10th verse of the 11th chapter? Assuming it's Isaiah, since um, God, a good third of the Book of Mormon has just plucked Isaiah. He likes Isaiah. All right. Six. Behold, the saith the Lord, it is a descendant of Jesse as well, as of Joseph. Unto whom rightly belongs the priesthood and the keys of the kingdom for an ensign and for the gathering of my people in the last days. Wait, descendant of Joseph and Jesse. And they rightly have the priesthood? According to Isaiah? I thought those were... Uh, Levites. Just, just saying, you know, I mean, Joseph wasn't a Levite, and neither was Jesse. Well, you know, that's why they know more than I do. So, anyway, I've only read the Bible, you know, I mean, doesn't mean I know it. I mean, I've read Grimm's fairy tales, but I forget parts of that, too. And I'm partially fond of uh, Aesop's fables, but I couldn't quote you chapter and verse, sorry. Just not that kind of guy. All right. Uh, seven. Questions by Elias Higby. What is meant by the command in Isaiah 52nd chapter, first verse, which saith, Put on thy strength, O Zion, and what people had Isaiah reference to. Z 
think he was talking about the Israelites. Eight. He had reference to those whom God should call in the last days, who should hold the power of priesthood to bring again Zion, without Levites this time, branch of Jesse instead, which is a royal branch, not a priestly one. Oh, eh, wait a minute. That's not necessarily true. It was Nathan. He went the religious, the religion route. Okay. Um. He had reference to those whom God should call in the last days, who should hold the power of priesthood to bring again Zion and the redemption of Israel and to put on her strength is to put on the authority of of the priesthood, which she, Zion, has a right to by lineage. That's not according to any of the Mosaic books. Uh, New Covenant, somehow it's different now. Anyway. Also to return that power which she had lost. Nine. What are we to understand by Zion losing herself uh, from the bands of her neck? Second verse. See, they just know enough to believe. They just they don't understand it, but, you know, just stamp it. It's the Apple contract. You don't need to read all that fine print. Just, yeah. Eternal life. Not being tortured. Yeah, that one. As long as it doesn't interfere with your everyday life, which it does. Uh, ten. We are to understand that the scattered remnants are exhorted to return to the Lord from whence they have fallen, which is, which if they do, the promise of the Lord is that he will speak to them in an audible voice, maybe. I hope. Wouldn't that be neat? <sighs> or give them revelation. Yeah, that's what usually happens. Just the revelation, no audible voice heard by many people. <sighs> See the 6th, 7th, and 8th verses. I guess they mean Isaiah. Uh, the bands of her neck are the curses of God upon her, or the remnants of Israel in their scattered condition among the Gentiles. Anyway, that was it for uh, 113, and it was some pretty brainy stuff there. I think some of it went whoosh, right by me. So, you know, if you understood it better, Please chime in and explain it to me. I'm here to be educated. Yeah, I don't. I come here so you guys can teach me stuff. All right, section 114. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the prophet at Far West, Missouri, April 17th, 1838. Directions to David W. Patton. Uh, positions occupied by the unfaithful to be given to others. <sighs> One, verily thus saith the Lord, it is wisdom in my servant David W. Patterson that he settle up all his business as soon as he possibly can and make a disposition of his merchandise, that he may perform a mission unto me next spring, in company with others, even twelve including himself, to testify of my name, and bear glad tidings unto all the world. Two, for verily thus saith the Lord, inasmuch as 
there are those among you who deny my name. Others shall be planted in their stead and receive their bishopric. Amen. And that's it for 114. And I don't know if I could stomach any more. Yeah, I hate to waste a perfectly good Thanksgiving meal. But I don't know. The next sections are pretty short. Now, that's enough for one night. Let's let's uh, ruminate on this and let it soak in. I don't want to rush. So, anyway, let me know. Did this change your life? Did it uh, enlighten you? Did it edify you? Did it uh, amuse you? Uh, did it bore you? I'm sure it bored a lot of people. Um, sorry about that. I have to get through this book. It's an OCD thing. Um, stay tuned. I'll do more in the man cave. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And I hope you had a nice turkey day.